What's going on guys? Uh, starting off the week this week by watching that thing drive away. So, uh, guy's supposed to show up 15, 20 minutes from now and uh, we're gonna meet him and he's gonna take off with it. So, uh, drove the uh, blue truck today and I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. So. It's kind of nice being back in something older. I do like it. But the luxuries of that one, I mean, that was a smooth truck. I really did like it, but doesn't make much sense. I used uh, used it three or four times to pull the car a year. I mean, other than that, I'd haul a couple things, but everything that I did with it, I can do with this, except haul gooseneck, can't haul gooseneck. But that's not a big deal. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna send it to his new home today. Hopefully he gets some good use out of it. He really did like it when he came and got it. So uh, it ought to be a great truck for him. So um, I'm gonna be busy doing that today. And then uh, depending on what I got going on tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the firewall in the bus. So I'll mess with it and uh, kind of figure out what we're doing from there. but. Other than that, I just figured I'd kind of give you guys an update on this thing. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, what's up, guys? Um, today's Tuesday, and I'm not doing anything to the bus today. So, uh, last night, I actually put different tires and wheels on this pickup I'm driving. I'm just trying to get it fixed up, get it how I want it. And, uh, uh, see, so yeah, I put some tires and wheels on it and jacked up the driver's side to change the wheel in the tire. And I'll show you a little small clip right here, but. So yeah, that hub was smoked. I mean, not good. So, uh, drove to the parts store late, late last night, got it changed and uh, drove it to work this morning did great didn't wobble near as much as it did and uh tomorrow this is a exhaust shop it needs some exhaust it's actually broke off of the muffler and i'll do some front end work too so but right now i'm actually going to tint the windows so driver's side had a guy that i work with um, he tinted it did a great job I'm going to attempt to do the passenger side by myself. I've never done tent. I have attempted it and it was awful. So he showed me some things on it. And we're going to give it a shot. So that's what we're doing now.
So listen, that actually didn't turn out too bad. Uh, I do got a couple spots here. I am worried about this spot because I think it's actually going to roll up on me. This film will. But uh, we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, at least I do. I feel a lot more comfortable actually doing this. But uh, next time, I'll just leave me a lot more room down here. And that way I can actually tuck that under the lip. I'd actually misjudged it because I had the window down a little bit. So I thought, oh, okay, yeah, I got plenty. But whenever I rolled the window up, I actually had none to actually go under the lip right here. So it is under the lip over here, but I, I do want it over here. But like I said, we're gonna try this. If it doesn't work, at least we know now that we can go ahead and do it to, to the next one. But that's 5% tent. Uh, it does match, match the back ones, so not too bad. And that's the uh, rims I actually got, these little rally rims. And not too shabby. Uh, ended up doing that. Like I said, it goes to the exhaust shop tomorrow. I'm going to run pipes out the back. It's going to be 45 with echo tips. Um, got the blower motor changed. It's good. Uh, only issue now is the AC does leak Freon. But earlier today, whenever I was charging the system, I actually found out that the Schrader valve on the low pressure side is leaking. So I'll just change that Schrader valve, go ahead and recharge the system, and uh, that should be good. So other than that, all in all, it's, it's driving really well. Uh, it's doing good. I do love it. And just a couple more things and it'll be good so all right guys so i haven't been working on this thing at all and not to make excuses or anything like that uh it's hot okay uh actually today it's not today i think the high is like 71 degrees and it's actually sprinkling right now so it is beautiful out um so i plan on working on this as much as I can today but uh no the past two weeks it's been upwards of 100 degrees and <clears throat> inside this big metal box it's probably 180 so I don't I don't plan on working all day when it's hot and then coming home and doing the same thing so I'm trying to hit it whenever I can on the cooler days and uh today's one of them so we're gonna try and get some stuff knocked out here uh, as far as the radiator it's way up here and whenever you're driving in the seat if something was to happen in that radio radiator pop a hole or the hose comes off or something like that I understand that's gonna directly hit me so uh, I actually got some plexiglass we're gonna uh, cut that up put it in here bolt it in and just trying to make it a little bit safer i guess not really too worried about safety but it's better to do this now instead of after something happens so we're gonna mess with that <clears throat> and uh we're just gonna kind of play it by what we see today on what we do and what we work with so, but as far as that, that's going to be the first thing. And, uh, also, I don't know if any of you guys have gotten squats in school or anything, but, you know, we found, I think it's actually something for a kitchen, but it's an old, it reminds me very heavily of a swap paddle. So, we're going to hang this up, too, and, uh, just kind of get a little artsy with it, I guess. Uh, the bug had tons of detail. There was nothing but detail on that thing. And the same idea will be for the bus, too. I want the same thing happening for it. So, uh, yeah, here we go. For the, uh, for the plexiglass, I actually got a 4 by 4 sheet. Um, I don't need that big. But, it'd be good to get extra instead of less. So, uh, I would just go inside here on this firewall part, just right here to the other side. But this, actual, this radiator hose and pipe actually sticks out further than that. 
So we're gonna hit it from the actual body side of it. So we'll get us a uh, width on that. And that is gonna be more than four feet. I didn't think about that. Huh, okay. Well, I measured it to here. So that's my bad. Um, so that's not gonna work, but what we may be able to do, huh, okay, well, kind of. Okay, new idea, since that doesn't go all the way across, the steering shaft is actually all, also in the way, so we'll have to make a cut out for that. And I think we're gonna attach it to the dash. Um, that'll be easily able to just, Throw a self tapper in it and call that good, and especially over here. So I can catch this side of the body and catch it right here on the dash, and then I'll have less to cut out over there. I will have a gap over there, but that's not too big of a deal because I have the steering shaft there, and it's going to be a lot easier to kind of leave the room for the, uh, the brake booster, the steering shaft, all that crap like that. So we won't really attach it over there, and we'll still be pretty sturdy out here. And here and then I'll run a piece of angle right there and then I'll run a bolt to be able to bolt it into that so uh, we're just gonna do it that way and... <laughs> Obviously, I didn't think about that. <clears throat> is this called plexiglass? So it breaks very easily. Didn't mean for that. Thought all the weight of this was hanging down on it and it actually cracked it. So, it is what it is on that. But, hey, we're still going to give it a shot. Because if my uh, thoughts are right, we actually needed this cut out anyways, just not that far. We wanted it probably right here. And that was going to clear the steering shaft. So after looking at this, I needed 17 and a half inches. Well, if you go up some, this is 17 and a half inches. So it is going to come down a little bit lower. But if we keep this part open, I'll be able to actually get to the top of that radiator if I needed to, to take that hose off. And it's still going to be behind the splash guard. So I'm going to make room for the, uh, the brake pedal assembly. And we're going to set this down and see how it looks. If it doesn't work, we'll, we'll toss it. So it's not too big of a deal. And we're just going to guesstimate. Okay. Let's go see how she looks. I didn't video anything cutting this other piece. Uh, carried the other piece over there, broke. Uh, this glass, I forget that it's fragile. Uh, this is the other half. 
go ahead and try and put it on. Okay, so this is it. We got a piece in. Uh, we actually, <clears throat> I ended up having to bend this transmission cooler line out of the way. And a couple of these, we're actually gonna use uh, existing screws already. And we will drill some new ones over here. Hopefully this stuff doesn't shatter or just crack out whenever I try to drill it. I'm gonna try and go slow. And uh, I got new bits, so hopefully they're a lot sharper and won't do that. But uh, we're gonna get this stuff drilled and see how it turns out. So anywho, that's what we're doing. So it might be hard for you guys to see this, but uh, the plexi is in there. I uh, got it screwed there, 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 and down there. And uh, I'm actually leaving the bottom uh, somewhat loose because as I hit something in this bus, it's actually going to uh, flex. And I don't want this busting out on me. So I'm going to leave the bottom of it loose. And uh, that way it can actually kind of flex with the bus. I don't want to stiffen it up and hit a bump and then just... I mean, just crack this thing in half. I'm not, I'm not trying to do that. So, uh, I'm going to leave it open and, uh, as far as this, I'm sitting here thinking, I thought about putting on the very back wall, but you know, as a bus driver, you would want to be able to have the paddle. So I don't know if I want to put it here, here, or, um, I thought about doing it right there. But the fact is, is I want to put a mirror right there because I can't see behind me, period. So I'd like to be able to put one up there like an actual bus has and uh, kind of be able to see behind me. So I think we're going to plaster it right there. Just kind of get it there. That way people can walk in, see it, and they know exactly what to do. So, but yeah, so awesome part. Uh, don't have to worry too much about the coolant splashing up on me. Uh, I got that main hose covered. That was basically the one that I was worried about because if that hose blows off, I mean, it's going straight for those. We're going to end up having some uh, instead of cat fries, we'll have some man fries. But, uh, yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, down there, not too worried about. I mean, later on, if I want to, I guess I can always add something there. But, like I said, I'm not sweating it too much. Uh, we'll get that taken care of at some point. But, uh as far as drivability and being able to drive it across town for the next uh, car show and stuff, I'm not worried about that. Uh, it should be okay. So I'm going to get this thing hung up and kind of go from there. All right. So she's hung up. And uh, also earlier, I didn't realize I didn't have the reservoir on there. So I uh, drilled a hole, ran the copper tubing. And uh, like I said before, that's not the actual reservoir. Just kind of waiting on a cool bottle or something and see if I can't find something. But, uh, yeah, as of right now, that's that's what we're using as a good old water bottle. So, pretty happy with that, though. Looks really good. Um, uh, idea was to work on this thing all day. But, uh, since the weather is nice, I'm going to take a chance. Go change uh, brother-in-law's tires on a semi. So, go do that. Oh, I'm not doing it when it's 110 degrees outside, so uh, I'm gonna mess with that, and maybe I can get back on this thing later tonight. But I ain't kind of figure out what we need to do.
Okay. Let's start thinking. The dent on this thing? Whatever. Character, whatnot, stuff like that. I'm kind of tired of it. I'm looking at the front of the bus. It doesn't look right. So, I got me a, uh, a dent installer. I mean, dent remover pipe here. And, uh, we're just going to smack the crap out of it and see what happens. Maybe it'll come out. Did nothing. Give me a big old bath. You know, I've been thinking really hard about that dent, and I think I like it. It looks pretty good. Yeah. <coughs> well, that crap that fell down, I think I only got a little bit of asbestos and black plague or whatever it used to be called. Yeah, that didn't move anything. And you know what? I don't trust any of my work enough to be able to stand on that and try and pull them out. So, we're gonna leave her. It was worth a shot, guys. All right, Sunday evening. Uh, about to go inside, start editing the video for this week. And uh, I noticed most of the week I worried them, kind of worked on the truck, not really even the bus. Uh, but the bus, I did get the firewall done. Kind of splash guard, not really even a fire wall. But uh, uh, pretty big piece. So this next week, uh, I actually have power steering lines ordered. They should be here Tuesday afternoon. And I ordered the factory power steering lines. So they're not the actual ones that have to be made. I realized that I'm going from a uh, Dodge gearbox to a... Chevy power steering pump. So both ends are going to be different on the hoses. Uh, so I'm just going to try and find a connector to be able to make a different hose and uh, just uh, try and piece one together myself instead of uh, make one because making one you're talking about 160 bucks uh, to make a power steering hose. So we're not doing that. I don't want to, I'm not trying to spend that much money. Um, so we're going to do that. And I need to focus on the emergency brake on the rear axle after this last event, jumping the road and doing everything else. I don't want that to happen again. So I want a secondary brake if I need one. Really an emergency brake. So uh, we're gonna try and tie on to the lines that I actually cut off and make our own rollers and put a handle up here and just kind of stop this thing. Uh, so we're gonna focus on those two main things this coming week and really get those done. Hopefully Eli is free on Wednesday. If he is, then we will get some major stuff knocked out on his truck, hopefully. So really looking forward to this next week to be able to get a lot more stuff done. Uh, this past week and past weeks, I really haven't done anything on the bus. And October's coming fast. Gotta get this stuff done. And uh, kind of looking forward to the finish line. Uh, I am enjoying the bus build, don't get me wrong, but I'm ready to get something uh, smaller scale. You know, I mean, the bus is super cool. It's one of a kind, but as far as maneuverability or being able to actually 
work on it uh, it's kind of the major parts are done so I mean as far as content there's not very much exciting stuff until the bus is actually completed so uh, I look I look forward to starting a new build um, I'm not sure what yet but we're gonna we're gonna find something and hoping I can get some pieces together to where it moves fairly quick so um, that's what we're gonna be doing so it's coming week look forward to that and that's about it so appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next week <laughs>